Hi, welcome back to another Celtomic video. And today we'll be learning about moles. So, what is a mole? Is it this cute little animal? This animal is actually called a mole, but in chemistry, a mole is actually a way to measure the amount of a substance. So if I were to say that there is one mole of substance X, it means that there are 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 particles of substance X. That is a lot of particles. So this special number of 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 is actually known as the Avogadro's constant. So these particles may be atoms, ions, or molecules, depending on the context. So before we go and find out how to calculate mole, we first need to understand some mole concepts. If I were to say that there is one mole of H2O, it means that there will be two moles of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen. So the number of moles of each atom is actually dependent on the stoichiometry and dependent on the formula of the compound. So let's look at some of these examples. So in the first example, we are given 0.5 mole of CH4. So this means that there will be 0.5 mole of carbon plus 0.5 moles times 4 H. So this means there will be 0.5 mole of carbon plus 2 mole of hydrogen. Okay, for the next question, we have 2 moles of MgO. So this one is easy. This one will just be 2 mole of Mg plus 2 mole of oxygen. And last but not least, we have 10 mole of sodium oxide. So there will be 10 times 2 NaS plus 10 mole of O. So this will give us 20 mole of Na plus 10 mole of O. So this is something that you need to understand uh, before we dive into a more difficult problem. So now we'll learn how to calculate mole using the Avogadro's constant. So we have a formula triangle here and on the formula triangle we have number of particles, we have mole and we have the Avogadro's constant. So we can see that in order for us to calculate mole, we need to take the number of particles divided by the Avogadro's constant. Likewise, if you want to find the number of particles, we can take the mole times the Avogadro's constant. Remember that the Avogadro's constant is actually a fixed value of 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. So let's move on to this little problem we have here. So the question says that how many moles of water are there if a beaker of water contains 3.022 times 10 to the power of 23 moles of water? So this question, we are given the number of particles and we are asked to find the mole. So mole is equals to number of particle divided by the Avogadro's constant. So that we just take 3.022 times 10 to the power 23 divided by 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 and you get half. So there are half mole of water in the picker. So now we're going to find mole using mass. So for us to find mole, we need to take mass divided by molar mass. And if we want to find the mass, we can take mole multiplied by the molar mass. So for this particular question, we have how many moles of potassium atoms are in 3.04 grams of pure potassium matter? We are given the mass and we are asked to find the mole. So 
mole is equals to mass over molar mass, MR. In this case, we need to first find the molar mass of potassium. So potassium is an atom, so we can just look at its atomic mass. And from the periodic table, we know that the atomic mass of potassium is actually 39.1. So we can sub the value into the equation. We have the mass, which is 3.04. And we have the molar mass or the atomic mass of potassium, which is 39.1. So that will give us a value of 0 0.077 mole. So that's how we find the number of mole using mass. Okay, so now let's move on to some examples. So you can take a few minutes here to give it a try. Okay, so first question states that we need to find the molar mass of MgO, magnesium oxide. So first things first, we need to know what the MR is. So the MR is actually the sum of the atomic mass of magnesium and oxygen, which is 16 for oxygen and 24 for magnesium. So the molar mass is 40. So now we need to find the mole. So mole is equals to 6 grams, which is the mass, over 40. And this will give us 0 0.5. 1.5 mole. So there's 0 0.15 moles in 6 grams of magnesium oxide. And now we need to find the total number of atoms. So the total number of atoms is just the number of moles times the Avogadro's constant of 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. And we should get the answer of 9.033 times 10 to the power of 22. So there are 9.033 times 10 to the power of 22 magnesium molecules in 6 grams of magnesium oxide. Okay, so next we move on to lithium. So from the periodic table, we know that lithium is its atomic mass of 7. So mole equals to 11 over 7 and this gives us 1.5714. So number of particles will be 1.5714 times 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. And we should get the answer of 94.63 times 10 to the power of 22. And we also can change this to 9.463 times 10 to the power of 23. Okay, so last but not least, we have carbon. So 2.14 grams of carbon. So from the periodic table, we know that carbon has an atomic mass of 12. So we find a mole first. Mole equals to 2.14 divided by 12. And this gives us 0 0.178. 3, 3. Then next we need to find the number of particles of carbon. So we take 0 0.178333 times the Avogadro's constant. I'm just going to write A here. And this will give us 1.074 times 10 to the power of 23. So that's the answer of for carbon. So one thing to note. I'm not sure whether you guys noticed this. But we know that in one mole of a particular substance, there will be 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 particles. So if the number of mole is less than one, we should expect the number of particles to be smaller than 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. But if the number of mole is more than one, then we should expect that the number of particles will be more than 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. So that's one way you can check your work to ensure that your answer is correct. So that's all we have for today. Stay tuned to the channel as we will learn how to calculate more using volume 
and concentration. So remember to like and subscribe and remember to always stay curious.